shaft out of a 2009 Dodge Journey. Um, customer came in and complained that uh, a big vibration uh, when we test drove it. As soon as you hit 40 uh, kilometers an hour, right up to about 80, it honestly felt like the engine was about to fall out of it. Um, the only problem that it was, was this coupler right at the back. Now you can see that um, the rubbers have let go and what this does is a vibration dampener um, so that it has a little bit of give between the drive shaft and the differential, it being an all-wheel drive. When you make corners, um, as your tires wear, um, your front isn't matched 100% to your back, and this gives it a little bit of play. Now, apparently, there is an issue with these couplers. Um, the uh, dealership does not sell this coupler on its own. They want you to buy the entire drive shaft. $700 from the dealer. Um, I went to a wreckers, called around everywhere, and luckily I found a drive shaft off of 2014, which is still the same drive line, and bought the entire drive shaft for 130 bucks. But um, for some of you who don't know, if you do have a vibration in your vehicle, no matter what it is, um, if it's all-wheel drive, whether it's a truck, if you feel a vibration and it starts kind of in your seat almost, because it's generally um, the back axle that's doing it, this could be an issue. Now, if he, she would have went to the dealership, it would have been about a thousand bucks by the time you're all said and done. Um, and all it is is this little piece of rubber that the issue is. So be cautious of that. Um, it's six bolts to, uh, to uh, take this off and replace it. Took about an hour. Um, find somebody handy, call some scrapyards, and save yourself about 900 bucks. Um, because it was a whole new drive shaft, I just replaced the whole drive shaft, um, which means that the hanger bearing was in excellent shape, and so was the rear end of that. But uh, just do your homework. To follow a variety of projects that include conversions and repairs to anything from Ferraris to chainsaws. And check out the Tape Boss, my newest invention that's coming to market. And remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich.